Hello everyone. Today, as you can see, this is like one of the morbid games scenarios. Uh, the a lot of us may have played before, and some may not have played before. And today we'll go ahead and discuss a little bit more in depth as to what this game is about. As you can see, this game is called Plague, and basically it's a it gives you a scenario, uh, basically about how I kind of repeated myself there. <laughs> so basically, I just repeated this third time. Now, the how this game works is a is a simulation. Like imagine you're in like a CDC or center development center disease control i believe that's how he, that's what it is hey what's up john t welcome welcome uh let me see cdc stands for oh my goodness i'm blanking out of it centers for disease control and prevention so basically what they'll do is this so they will have like a they will usually have predict um a scenario or so uh, as to like what may happen if a disease were to occur within this specific area, um, there I could be wrong, but you can definitely check that out uh, for yourself. But basically, this game is what encompasses it itself. Uh, it gives you a scenario case. So let's say you use a disease and you infect it in a specific country and so forth. What will happen next after that? And that also kind of leads us to how disease spread. And a lot of times people, uh, there's a lot of skeptics out there, a lot of conspiracy, conspiracy theory that all theorists that would always say like, oh, you know, there's, there's no such thing as COVID. There's no such thing as this and that. Disease are real and they are there. We're, they're going to be here until the day that we die. And unfortunately, that's the case because as you can see, we can see the mutation of the disease because people are not being vaccinated in the process. And I used to be a skeptic myself, honestly. And unfortunately, as, as time progressed, I kind of realized that because... I'm doing it. The reason why I take the vaccine is because I'm doing it so that I can then protect not only myself, but also my family, my friends, and so forth in the process. And the further this disease or this virus continues, it will continue to spread. And there will be later on, I don't know how, I'm hoping that it, this day will not come, but basically there's a possibility a possibility that the virus itself will be able to then beat the the vaccines that we utilize so yeah uh but nevertheless let's go ahead and head into this game as well so once we click on play there's two type of mode there's like the cure mode and the main game can you infect the world and can you save the world today we're going to go ahead and do the main game where what will happen if we were to infect the world so let's go ahead and click on that one so we're given like two types uh in the beginning because we haven't necessarily unlocked all of them yet so keep that in mind so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and use bacteria uh as is stated most common cause of plague unlimited potential now there's three types of modes there's casual normal and brutal brutal can be uh just like considered like the extreme hard mode or just the hard mode uh normal is just basically just your regular um casual type of game itself well actually no that would be the casual itself basically for new players or those wanting a quick game no one washes their hands research doctors don't work sick people giving hugs now what we're facing right now is more so a normal i want to say it's a normal uh normal mode uh because now we're kind of aware of the the virus itself so we are basically washing our hands at least 60 seconds keeping ourselves six feet apart as well as if we caught COVID, then we would then uh basically place ourselves in a lo little lockdown quote unquote for at least 14 days or quarantine uh quote unquote now let's go for normal and i think this one 
well, because recently, well, we have like a whole like alphabetical list of order of of disease apparently or virus. So we went from basically COVID nineteen to I think there was also another one,、uh, and then later on it went to like Omicron.、Uh, Wait, Delta vir Delta variant, and then something else, and then Omicron. So I guess we'll just go with the letter P, or we can go with letter R. I think we'll we'll start with letter R or some sort. And let's just say,、hmm. a good name for R. Let me just quickly do a random. Random name generator, actually. Random name generator, or just a name generator. And we'll just do a character name, actually. And、uh, we'll do a well. I mean, this is a. Oh, doesn't. Okay, maybe not. Let's just call a call it. Unstoppable. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. So unstoppable. And then we'll go ahead and then modify the genetic code.、Um, basically, it should allow you to then、uh, check to see what you can unlock. So basically, this one is ATP boost, get bonus DNA at the beginning. Uh, it's catalytic switch. Get bonus DNA from popping glue cures bubbles.、Um, cytochrome surge. Get more DNA from popping orange DNA bubbles. Interesting. And then metabolic hijack. Orange and red bubbles are automatically popped for you. And metabolic jump. Get more DNA from popping red hazard red biohazard bubbles. That's kind of interesting. Then there's travel genes. Basically, you can spread it through、um, by car or by land, transportation-wise.、Uh, Aerosite increases chance of plague spreading by air. Plague by sea. The most effective way, like if we're talking about game-wise, game-wise itself, and it can also apply to real life. Actually,、um, basically, transportation is crucial for every single one of us. Like where we go to school, go to work,、um, and also visit our friends,、uh, and so forth. So. So definitely, we'll go for. I want to say、uh, travel. Oh what? Oh snap! I didn't realize we had to pay for this one. Okay. Well,、um, in this case, we just have to、uh, start without without it. So there's only three percent. All right. So as you can see, the game objective: your new bacteria to win. You must evolve and spread across the world, wiping out all humans in unlimited plague. And then, if you touch a specific country you start in, then your play begins over there. Now, this is kind of interesting because the higher the population is, the more likely so that they're going to be infected. So right now, like China will be one of them. U.S. will be one second of them. Russia could be part of it as well, and India. India is also the next one.、Uh, Africa maybe because they don't really like.、Um, sorry about that. Give me one moment. Cool. Cool. All right, now we're back. So, as you can see here, we 
as we were just left off. Um, basically, where we're at is that we're trying to choose a country.、Um, and I think we'll just go for India because India is also like the second largest population in this case. So, yeah, they're just. Yeah. Okay, so I think we'll just go for、uh, India in this case. Perfect. Alright, so that is where India has begun the infection. Unstoppable has infected one human. Okay, wow. That's. Alright, so then basically what we're doing then is that you can then collect.、Uh, if you infect in one area, then you basically get to collect these bubbles. And these bubbles are then、uh, there to help you evolve the plague itself. So let's say you want to spread it through birds, you want to spread it through rodents, you want to spread it through livestock, air. Through pathogen, basically, dust particles increase infectivity.、Uh, there's water, pathogen,、uh, blood. One gives organism ability to spread through blood to blood contact and insect and so forth. And also, I just want to keep in mind、uh, there's this thought of mine that is just lingering in. And basically, the earlier、uh, statements that I said. Basically, I want it. That's just my perspective. And also,、uh, basically, I visited a physician of mine, and based on his results, after like evaluating maybe a hundred a hundred to a hundred plus clients, the people who took the vaccine never came back to the physician. Only that one person that came in was the one that didn't get vaccinated. And As the articles are saying, basically it was 99 is 98 percent. It, it's dropped to like at least 96 percent effective for Pfizer, and then for Moderna is a little bit more effective. On there is like 98.、Uh, I want to say there was like a it's like a little bit of a for distance apart, like maybe by four or five percent margin of error by four to five uh, percent uh, between 90. Oh no, 92, 92. So yeah. Um, nevertheless, um, and I still respect those who don't take the vaccine as well. So just keep that in mind. I respect the ideas of those who don't want to take the vaccine, and I also respect those that do take the vaccine, like me, in which、um, I'll be getting a booster shot tomorrow as well in the process. So yeah, just hope for the best so that we can actually do more streaming next、uh, next time. But nevertheless, we'll go ahead and do. Let's see what would be more effective. Say insomnia, no. Cysts, painful lumps contain pockets of pathogen. Slight chance of bursting.、Uh, decrease in red blood cells.、Eh, let me see. I think we're best. Let's see. What will we do? I think for. Well, we need twelve DNA points. I just realized. So we're just. Slowly doing it at the moment. We can then actually、um, believe there was a way of speeding it up. Yeah, there we go. We can speed things up a bit, and then new fall in urban population density. Okay, making them less vulnerable to the disease. Okay, wow. Okay, got it. When they randomly appear to get bonus DNA points, when you which you can use to evolve your disease. Okay, so then this one is genetics, perfect, or DNA. Okay, so they're popping up right now. We're getting at least 13 people infected in the process. Spreading from person to person will grow exponentially. You can control the plague. So now we hit 14. So now the most effective way that we have seen so far from COVID. From what I understood, it's like person to person, 
like coughing, you know, you're you're having trouble breathing, and so forth, and also you're sneezing. Apparently, we're encompassing both sneezing, coughing, and so forth all in one,、um, which is now considered COVID.、Um, and I think since we only have nine DNA points, we will try to like limit it. So we'll try to. Kind of involve coughing, which then、uh, probably lead to pneumonia, discharge from lungs, is possible. Or we can then、uh, create, I think, let me see, rash becomes blister, inc- slightly increase, mostly coughing, and then we'll go ahead and do transmission. I want to say because、um, oh, actually, we need nine. I need nine, so we'll we'll wait for it a bit. So we'll wait for it a bit, at least like get to nine in this case, so that once the coughing does, then the spread will be based on the、uh, the particles that you see. That's why everyone is wearing masks, like N95 masks in particular. N95 masks are considered the most efficient ones、uh, when it comes to blocking most of the particles itself.、Um, So yeah, that's like that's where you get like ten mm's. Tokyo Olympics mystery. Holy snap! That's like basically we're just playing like last year,、uh, the last year situation. That's kind of interesting. Okay. So okay, so now none unstoppable infects a hundred. What? No way. Okay. So now we have to be a little bit more quick about it, I think. So we'll just go for. Hmm. What would be more suitable? I think pneumonia, maybe. Then we can then go for baby fibrosis, shortness of breath, extreme coughing. That that sounds about right, actually. And、then we'll probably do total organ failure once we get to level thirty. Oh my goodness! Okay, just new new sterilizing cleaning techniques. Stop tr- tr- transmitting any disease. Interesting. Okay, so we're gonna have to like probably increase. The flights hasn't been touched yet, so that's where we're gonna need to focus on a little bit, just a bit. So yeah. And just keep in mind, I haven't played this game for like a long, for at least more than however many years I played. Because I remember the first time I laid eyes on this, it kind of intrigued me because like I didn't really know how disease spread. And this is like pretty good virtual、um, simulation、uh, as to how disease would spread and、like、some of the effects as to like what、um, what could possibly be evolved into or so forth. More infectious than TB. Holy snap! Okay. Red bubbles affect a new country. Get bonus. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is this. I think. Drug resistance will be more effective. Um, and then let's see. So we already infected one million. Holy snap! There's already 114 deaths. Okay, I think what we need to do next is go for rodents next, because because what happens is that interestingly enough, like during the time of the bubonic plague in the medieval、uh, medieval times, people、um, it was said that the Uh, let me just quickly pause. So basically, what happens is that the, as you can see from China,、um, it said that the、uh, during one of the trades from China or so,、uh, there was some rat-infested rice and so forth that was then、uh, transported、uh, to one of the European countries, maybe like Italy or so, like one of the trading、um, merchant, one of the. One of the most、uh, best place、uh, to trade 
and in, especially in Europe, like such as Italy, uh, and, and like for example Genoa and so forth. And then all of a sudden, like they they have a whole bunch of like rats, like black infested rats that would then spread fleas and so forth. And then that actually led to more. Uh, disease um, that led to like the huge bubonic plague that you all know as of the I want to say it's the 14th century or before that so that's why we have that's why it caused like so much um, issues at that time so Jim uh, who's Jim um, <laughs> oh sup man or I guess uh, welcome mobile samurai appreciate you so yeah and basically what we're gonna go ahead and do is, as I first pointed out, is that we're gonna go ahead and go to transmission, and we're gonna go to rodent uh, because common fleas are susceptible, susceptible, susceptible. My fellow samurai, indeed, I appreciate you. I mean, seldom and honestly, like people, I don't think people have actually played this game quite often, like not really show show this as much because I think they're just afraid to discuss certain um certain topics covid <laughs> so yeah so basically this is a virtual simulation as to how disease is spread and actually they had covid i think there was a covid bubble. no no they didn't they didn't have a covid bubble. but in, in, as, in some aspects it does kind of simulate what it is um, some aspects. so right now so as you can see um right now the disease that we named it is called unstoppable because uh, because we we kind of went from COVID nineteen to Delta variant and then skipped like a whole bunch of letters and then landed on Omicron, which I think there was also another uh, virus before Omicron that maybe like two letters away. But now we're just gonna go ahead and use a U because I don't know like dude, there's a possibility that CDC might end up using a U or a W or some sort in the process. So we're just doing that just to see like what happens if we infect a huge population, a highly populated country. Yeah, a unicorn. Oh well. <laughs> so yeah, basically so. And I think China is overused, honestly. So we're gonna try India as like the second highest populated country. And new minor disease spreading in a normal checkup, Dr. India found a new disease which has been named unstoppable. Okay. It appears to be mostly harmless but must be investigated further. Other countries are also reporting disease disease. Okay, that kinda indicates to me that I need to then uh, in order, we need to mutate this, this this virus to the point where it is not uncurable. So what we'll then go for is this. So I think I'm gonna go back to medic abilities. Let me see. Genetic hardening becomes harder to analyze in the lab, decreases future research speed. I think that will be more useful. And drug resistance is probably gonna be the case, uh, just like COVID did. COVID was actually. Um, in, a, in some aspects like we researched it then at the same time like we couldn't we tried to use antibiotics to actually treat it or like we we later on we were able to then research like the vaccine which took us at least a year at least a year or some sort to like finally find like a vaccine that is suitable but then now it kind of mutated it mutated into like some other virus um like delta variant and then delta variant i believe I could be wrong. It was like caught. I think it was found in South Africa, and then somehow it just got spread all over the place. And then we got Omicron in the process. I believe that came from India. I could be wrong, but yeah. So now we had to adapt. Indeed, we had to adapt to it. The virus is basically adapting to our conditions. Basically, whatever the whatever the uh, the vaccine that we have basically is adapting to it it's making it even more harder for us to even figure out or research in the process so that's what intrigues me the most now is like okay so then what what is it's almost like playing chess basically you're trying to figure out at least five to ten steps or five to ten moves ahead of your opponent um so that you can keep your opponent guessing and that's basically the, what the virus is doing to us at the moment and we're basically in some aspects i feel like we're like guinea test guinea pigs in some aspects when we're giving the vaccine because like we're we're taking it at least this is like we're now recommended to take a booster shot in the process 
So that's like the interesting part about it. So yeah, nevertheless, well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and see what else we have available. I think food is gonna be more essential later because、uh, people will eat food and then most likely they're gonna digest. Oh, oh my! First death in India. Holy snap! Uh, okay, that's something. That's not going well. Um. Okay. Well, I guess we might as well still infect、uh, other soul in the process. Let's go ahead and I say the hottest conditions. I feel like the hottest condition. We'll we'll start with the colder condition. The colder condition meaning like maybe Russia, Russia and top of Canada. I want to say like maybe Alaska and Alaska is part of the U.S. So. Basically, maybe Vancouver or Ontario and so forth. Maybe those areas that may、uh, that may help in the process, and then we can then branch out to heat resistance later on. That might help with infecting the Middle East in the process. So, yeah. India starts work on a cure. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, this one is gonna be a little bit more challenging. So we're gonna have to now we're in the race. They're in the race for time, and I'm in the race for time as well in the process. Like because since I'm controlling the disease or the virus, so we're gonna have to like think ten steps ahead on this one. I I can't say for certain since I haven't played this for a long time, but I'm trying to use like what oh、uh, these noises. Uh, what are Uh, what what are the noises that you're hearing? Actually, I'm kind of curious.、Uh... Oh, oh, it's like these morbid. Oh, it's a siren noise. Oh, that's what you're. You guys are hearing. Okay, got it. It's like the game. I guess it's like creating that. Sense of bro, I'm hearing a little girl singing. Oh yeah, it had that. I forgot about that morbid tone to it. It basically creates that morbid tone. It was like ring around the. It was like ring around the posies, and then like and then it mentions ashes, ashes. We all fall down. Yeah, I think that's actually what everyone was listening to when we we're when we we're growing up. That's what I heard when I was in elementary school, and I never really understood it until, yeah. I, you got scared? Yeah, I got scared as well. I got scared when I first played this game, and that freaked me out in the process. So that's why I, as time progressed, I kind of like developed like the sense like, okay, you know what? Fortunately, this is just a game.、Uh, well, actually, right now we're living it in some aspects,、uh, but yeah.、Um, so yeah, definitely. I mean, I can turn off the music, I guess, but then it kind of. Makes it less morbid in some aspects, so I don't know. And then you're just gonna be listening to my voice, and then your, my voice can sometimes be a little bit more、um, boring at times. So I don't know. It just really depends. <laughs> I really don't know.、Um, so we're gonna try to make it heat resistance now, because our I think the it's possible to infect Saudi Arabia and also other parts of the Middle Eastern countries.、Uh, in this case, so then、uh, we'll. Because if it's heat resistance, then hence that will mean that it will be a lot more troublesome for Middle East, and also probably like、uh, South Africa or even like the Congo or like Libya and so forth. So we can get and even Australia as well. So we're and also I think the ports, the ports we're gonna also try to. Are you the doctors or the virus? Currently, we're the virus. That's why it's called unstoppable for a reason, because.、Um, We're basically infecting. We're infecting people at the moment, and this is a good way to see like how infections happen.、Yeah. Because like a lot of times, people that I've known, like some of the people that I've talked to, and some of the people that I've read on the articles, they don't really. I don't think they really understand what how infections work. So that's why I I, I feel like I need to get this voice out there so that. It can clear up some misconceptions in the process because it's necessary. Because if if it's not in being informed, then basically if they're not being informed, then basically in some aspects they're just like tolerating 
they're just using whatever they're thinking at the moment as a way of using it as an evidence to claim that this is uh, there's no such thing as a virus there's no such thing as that they literally would say every single thing like that and that really frustrates me the most uh, a lot of times and you know if I was a if I was younger, I would I probably wouldn't I would definitely not understand it. Uh, hence, if I were to see this game and someone playing this game, then I would open my eyes right now and just say, "Holy snap! This is how like a virus would infect people." Holy snap! Like, what other possibilities can they can this virus do? Like, what would it mutate to? That's that's something that is is quite scary and daunting at the same time. And yeah. Indeed, appreciate it. Appreciate it that we both share share some sort of commonality in this case. Yeah. So wildlife susceptible. We got like eleven gives organism ability to spread through blood to blood contact, especially in poor regions. So I'm guessing this is where like some of the regions um would basically when they're burying their dead or their their loved ones and so forth then they might accidentally touch I guess some of the blood cells in process or like the blood so I guess that infects them because I've seen some of those uh, some of those people do that uh, in other countries uh, where they're burying it by hand without any gloves without any mask um, and also so for any like any precautionary materials used to prevent any further spread of the disease so yeah and people yeah, that's why it's necessary I, I can see the reason why we need to like distance ourselves and sometimes we can't because like at work you know when you're trying to learn something new from your colleague oh snap total organ failure symptom mutated oh boy developed total organ failure holy snap that's Oh, that's crazy. Basically, you're just increasing the ICU. The basically what ICU forgot. It was like the emergency care intensive care unit. Intensive care unit. That's what it is. ICU. Yeah, it should be intensive care unit. Yeah, intensive care unit. Basically, we're increasing the hospitality, uh, the usage of the hospital spaces now. If this is the case, so we're gonna go ahead and try to gain a little bit more India shuts down airports oh okay that's something new okay so if India shuts down the airport we're just gonna go ahead and try to make the vaccine a little bit more harder to do wait genetic reshuffle strands resemble more work needed to develop here okay let's just try to delay time uh, for them in this case, develop, de- um, delay some time for the researchers. Oh, they're doing rat extermination. Holy snap. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to do something about that. So we're gonna use birds in this case. Because birds can also be used as a spread. Uh, because, interestingly enough, uh, back in World War One, they, they would use carrier pigeons as a way of sending messages. Hence... If it's possible, the virus can then like catch on, maybe like fleas or some sort can then latch on to it. So yeah, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is transmission. So we gotta now use, yeah, we're gonna use insects, carrier in- increase infectivity. I'm guessing insects could imply fleas, if I'm not mistaken, fleas, uh, spiders, etc. That could. I could possibly do it actually. I'm not gonna lie. I think it is doable. Maybe birds? Yeah, aviation. We do need some aviation in this case. So we'll go ahead and do aviation and then we'll go ahead and do blood infected bodily fluids. I think that's gonna be necessary uh, to to keep this virus alive in some aspects. Holy snap, it killed more than Black Death? 75 million people worldwide worse than has killed over 75 million people oh my goodness wow this is this is real crazy I did not anticipate that 
Holy snap, 75 million? Oh, there's probably like more than two, there's probably two to three billion people living in there, so that's why. So, oh man, Southeast Asia starts to care, the Asia, oh my goodness, Southeast Asia is starting to care. So that's going to be a little bit more of an issue because, of course, we're, they're pretty dedicated uh, in terms of, of finding a disease, of uh, finding a cure. So we're going to have to like do something more drastic uh, in this case. So probably have to... Let's see, earlier I kind of mentioned about transmission. Wait, 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 I think I did. It's about the drive, yep. Indeed, it is about the drive. So now we're just gonna have to make it a lot more harder. Basically, now water is gonna be terrible for them. Um, we're gonna go ahead and make people hard to sleep. And also, lately I have, not gonna lie, lately I have. Uh, I have been like dealing with sleep deprivation in the process, so that's why it's bad. So literally, just it's best to get at least seven hours of sleep if you can. Because yesterday I got at least three to four hours of sleep, and then I had to work afterwards. So that's terrible to your body. So just keep that in mind. It's never an ideal case to do with. Okay, Spanish flu has killed over 120 million people worldwide already? How come? It's not showing death? Okay, no medical research, so we're gonna have to increase it. Mobile. Oh, mobilize this infectious disease team. Okay. I go speed at 12 and wake up at 7. Oh, wow. So that's at least. Yeah, roughly 7 hours of sleep. That's pretty good. Uh, as long as you sleep before 12, you're good. But anything after 12 is pretty hard uh, to deal with. You're like, For me, when I sleep after 12, 12 a.m., basically my it feels like my whole blood is just like rushing down the whole entire body like a waterfall or some sort. It, it, it just feels so weird. It's like normally your blood would cycle around in circles uh, rather than like just the whole entire blood coming from the upper chest down into the, the lower body like as a waterfall that's something something strange not gonna lie it's something that I will never forget I, I had that happen to me numerous times upgrade let's ship be infected against so the water transmission upgrade let's unstoppable survive the new clean techniques okay we'll do that um let me see uh, oh my goodness nope no, okay. Oh, evolve to water pathogen. Then, I believe what in the world are we gonna do next? Oh my goodness, okay. Quickly get that. West Africa starts cure already? Oh my goodness, we're in a race for time already. Okay, we already spent one year already. So we, and we infected most of China and India. Kill more than smallpox, 300 million people now? Okay, um, this is gonna be uh, quite strange, but we're gonna go ahead and make it, like we said before, we're gonna go ahead and infect through bodily disease. Now we're gonna create rash. Rash in this case. Make it even more harder. 12 people died already, okay. 200, 300, holy snap! China begins to break down. Normal life in China is beginning to break down due to unstoppable cure research is starting to slow. Holy snap. This is crazy. This is crazy. So we're trying to like... Whoa, what the... See, look, this is crazy. Okay, just with one symptom, a rash, this has already become one of the most deadliest... One of the most deadliest virus that you're ever gonna see just because of that one symptom a rash the skin becomes blistered and painful slightly increasing infectivity that is crazy like at first you just saw all you saw was like no deaths and no infectivity all of a sudden with just one symptom itself if you just include rash that's all it takes and boom it's just gonna skyrocket high right now so because of that we're basically creating sweating and then we're creating fever and then we're just gonna create probably immune suppression or some sort in the process cyst symptom mutated 
Holy snap. So basically, this is a mutation right now. See? This is a new mutation. So, when we have new mutations coming in, that is when you're just gonna have some more issues in the process. So now, cure is gonna be a little bit more drastic. So then now we're gonna infect in both livestock and that. And let's see what else we have available. We're gonna do bacterial resilience in the next one. Just so that we can increase it as well. Uh, it looks like cure is the cure is pretty well off right now, so we're kind of delayed. We're kind of below behind in this case. <laughs> fight to cure, yeah. There's two ways to fight development of cure. Evolve aggressive symptoms to destroy countries more noticeable, or evolve cure resistance. Let's know. We're gonna go ahead and do cure resistance in this case because this is really bad on our end. Well, as a virus, virus and virus perspective. So that's why we're gonna try to create it to a more deadlier, more lethal. We have increased our infectivity. That's good in terms of the points wise. So now we can then infect, start infect America and also parts of Russia, maybe if possible. Um, let's see. Let's try to get to the highest amount. I wanted to see how much I can get out of it. Uh, maybe up to 50? Saudi Arabia in anarchy. Wow. That's, that's even more crazier. Saudi Arabia, out of everything else, Saudi Arabia is now in anarchy. Holy snap. And this is March 26, 2023. Already. Holy snap. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and... Now we're gonna increase the bacterial resilience, uh, increase the heat resistant, well actually genetic reshovel just to make it even more painful for researchers. Yeah, next year. Dude, I feel like next year dude, it's so <laughs> grim right now. Like I feel like next year is just gonna is gonna be even worse. I don't know. This is such a negative negative thoughts. Okay, we'll try to focus on the positive. We'll, we'll do our best to focus on the positive, you know, just to see what's the present as it is. Global research focus on cure. Research doctors are all around and are completely focused on developing this cure. Okay, we're gonna do something even more drastic this time. Uh, skin... Holy snap, how do you pronounce this? Hemophilia? Uh, immune system produced inhibitor that's a short factor 8 preventing blood clotting holy snap wow that is crazy okay we're um what is our new abilities we got 9 okay we're gonna continue to do that um dang we're ready friends issues pandemic alert okay that's that's new friends hasn't done that for quite some time Mexico mobilizes infectious disease team. Okay. So now, in this case, coma. I, th I think this might be even more lethal. Uh, we're gonna have to infect, we're gonna have to increase uh, air 2 longer time. It needs to be a little bit longer time in this case. And let's see. Poland mobilizes infectious disease terms. Teams? Oh, it's not. Dang, okay, so cure is at 22% right now, so we, we need to hurry up on this one. Um, sneezing, discharge, no. Let's do that. Skin lesions, profuse bleeding symptom combo. Wow. Hemophilia and skin lesions are causing the infected to have blood pouring out of their skin, making unstoppable but far more dangerous. Holy snap, that's that's gruesome right there. That's gruesome. Unstoppable has mutated and developed the paranoia symptom without using DNA points. Okay, so basically if you get to the point where you're mutating it, uh you, you're you're involving the for this game in particular, if you involve the virus, it may actually give you free evolve free level up. Let's just put it. Free level up of that specific symptom. So in this case, paranoia is given for free without me having to use any of the DNA uh, points. So yeah, right now cure is at 24%, which we really are lack we have a lack of time. It's at 25%. 
Oh my goodness, okay. This is gonna be a little bit more of a pressure for me right now, in this case. Um, hmm, okay. I, unstoppable placed on watch list. Okay, it's on who. So if you have it on who, World Health Organization, that's when you know that it's, it's about to go down. So we need to then, um, we're going to need to do generic reshuffle soon. We're going to save it up for generic reshuffle. Oh, okay. Blue. Okay, we're going to have to stop here speeding up. Okay. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. Five more points. Five more points. 30. One more point. Okay, perfect. We're gonna do a generic reshuffle. Hmm. I think. Yeah, we're just gonna go for this one. Oh, that kind of that kind of reduced it. Oh, kind of increased it back. Okay, that was. Argentina government has fallen. Oh snap, Argentina's government has fallen already. Oh man, okay, okay, this blue plane is coming out. It's gonna fly to America probably? Cuba? No, it's gonna... Okay, okay, it's definitely trying to fly back. Okay, holy snap, it just... The cure is actually... I cure the vice? Holy snap, applesauce? That's weird. Applesauce? Oh my goodness, wow, this is not going well. Okay, we're gonna have to see what we have left. Mm, I already used all the... Man, okay, I, I already used all of the... The cheaper ones, okay. Okay, we need... We really need to somehow infect it. We need probably like 10 more. Holy snap. Less productivity. Holy snap. That's crazy. Walking Dead combo. Let's see what else. Holy snap. The infected are going to dead already. That's crazy. But then the. Oh, it shuts down water supply? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, man. This blue plane again. Research team on its way. Almost at 50%. I'm gonna see what else we have available to us. Oh, my goodness. All of them. Oh, something is interesting. Something is here. Something is here I can utilize. Hmm, let me see. I wonder which one is more effective right now. Depression. Depression. Can be lethal. I need 23 DNA points. Something. Cyst. Oh man. Okay. I'm gonna have to sacrifice something. So. Let's get back to DNA points. Let's also do that. We don't need that. We'll just go ahead and do that. Let's see which one was a lot more. Need four more. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So close, I just don't. Let me just let's just go ahead and play it out because I already deactivated. I already deactivated at least three of them. I just need at least three, four more. The cure is actually happening a lot more faster now, though. What? 
in the world? Nuclear explosion? Dang. That's... Yeah, what is it? Thyroid fibrosis or some sort? Oh, man. Okay. Man, they're already at 50%. Oh, man. Spain burns corpse. Still planes. Man, okay. I have no one else to... In fact, okay, that's gonna be a little bit of an issue. Hmm. Genetic hardening. Oh man, I should have done that. I should have done genetic hardening. I just realized that would have been a lot more effective than just postponing it. And there's no one left to infect, so that's just gonna make it even more harder for for the virus itself. Um, hmm, okay. Need like, at least four more points. How am I going to do this? Nausea. Okay, we're just going to devolve that because that's going to be useless uh, right now. Uh, paranoia, skin lesion. That one was helpful for me. Fever. Uh, wouldn't that just give them superpowers? E yeah, I think so. Oh my goodness, I screwed up. Wait. Wait a second. Affects multiple Kongs. Okay. Tumors. We're gonna have to select something that is more lethal, causing rapid internal bleeding and death. Okay, I think that might be doable. Oh man. Oh! Assesses symptom mutated. Oh man, okay. It has mutated. But then it has no one left to- Oh my goodness, Canada is the only one that's not being infected. Holy snap, dude. The cure might actually win in this one. It's possible. If it's gone to this far, man, that's crazy. I mean, we kind of made it pretty far off, actually. Not gonna lie, I haven't played this game for a while and we actually made it this far, so... That's something that it's gonna be quite intriguing to see. Let's see what's the world. To cure status, research contributors, Canada, New Zealand, France. Wow, okay. Let's see. So holy snap dude we destroyed so many countries in the process. Gosh dang. Okay. Yeah, we, we basically destroy all the almost all the countries. Oh my goodness, Madagascar has not been infected. Madagascar, Spain, Turkey, Ukraine, Germany, India. Oh wait, wait, wait. These oh these the blue hearts are the ones that hasn't are healthy ones. Oh my goodness, okay. Dang, what the heck? Okay, we're gonna have to do something about this. I really don't know right now. Spain declares martial law. You know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna speed it up. Oh, I realized I wasn't I was like not speeding up, so sorry guys. Just realized. China's government has fallen. Oh wow. Oh, CCP's gone. And Middle East government collapse as well? What the heck? That fast? Germany's government has fallen as well. Dang, three governments, three main governments have already fallen. France approves human experimentation? No way. Oh my goodness. How could this be? Dude, okay. There's no one left to infect. That's weird. Oh. Oh my goodness. Sweden executes infected people. Holy snap. That is... 
That would be scary. Imagine if our own governments did that to us. If we we're all infected, like, like the whole world, like, that would be crazy. Basically, like only the few left will be there to be able to populate the whole entire country. Central Europe burns corpse. Burning corpse is quite common during medieval ages because they didn't really have、um, a way to like diagnose the the virus or the disease at that time. So. Yeah, it is scary. Yeah, not gonna lie. Just like just seeing this, this is even more scary. Norway bombs infected cities.、Oh, my goodness! No way. Norway bombs infected cities. Oh my goodness! Wow! Freaking Norway decides to bomb their infected cities. Think of that! Like, if, I cannot imagine seeing Norway bombing their own infected cities. That's that's almost like watching Walking Dead, and basically seeing like the very first, probably second scene where there's a whole bunch of helicopters surrounding the、uh, city of Atlanta, Georgia, and basically just firing rockets into the city because it was all infected with、uh, with zombies. That's basically what it just feels like. Instead, Norway decides to bomb their infected cities. In this case, that's how crazy it gets. Wow, I cannot imagine that. I can literally not imagine that happening. Like seriously, Norway would bomb their own cities because of the infected, and then now they burn corpses. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yep, it's seventy-five percent complete, and I have nowhere else. I have to infect Canada somehow. And Canada already closed up their whole ports. Hammer. How do you pronounce this? Actually, I'm kind of thinking about this. Just gonna go see. Hammer. Hamorragic. 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 That's how you pronounce it. Okay. So basically, it's accompanied by or produced by hammer. Hammer. Refuge. Hemorrhagic. So hemorrhagic stroke is caused by sudden bleeding from a blood vessel inside the brain or in the spaces around the brain. Sudden bleeding may result from head injuries, cerebral aneurysm. Holy snap, dude! That's deadly. That's real deadly. So, oh my goodness! Now they make it even more harder for me to. Um. The abilities I would have probably just went for drug resistance, honestly. Drug resistance or genetic hardening. These were two possible, like these were the ones that I should have probably gone for. Because these, like genetic reshuffling, people can like it'll probably if you give them enough time for the researchers to do so, they'll probably be able to figure it out by then. So genetic hardening will probably be the ones where it helps decrease their future result, and also the drug resistance. Itself. So those were probably the two. So if, like right now, this is probably what's happening with the current virus as well. They're basically like probably is already at the point of genetic hardening, probably at the case. So that's why our research is, even though we already produced the vaccine, yet it's not it's not one hundred percent going to cure like the whole entire virus itself. So. But nevertheless, we'll, we'll just have to see. This is the, the year 2024. We went from 2022, I believe. Oh yeah, unstoppable kill all this host. Some healthy people survive. Yeah, that was. I kind of anticipated this one in some aspect because, like, when they got to like 72, I was like, "Oh, this is a little, a little bit too late already." So I think in this case. We'll, we'll start out with China. I think I want to start out with China this time. So yeah, died out in 840 days. Dang. Okay. So we'll we'll go ahead and do this again. Actually, we'll do cure mode. Okay. Um. It's very okay. Your goal is to eradicate the deadly disease. This is where we're at at the moment, everyone. This is where we're at. We're basically at the curing time. This is what we're going to try attempting. I haven't. I've never done this. Uh, let's say currently we're in the U.S. 
To begin, place your HQ in Canada? Oh, okay. Interesting. Let's start tracing the outbreak. Operations. Oh, okay. And fun. Okay. You send fuel operators to do that. Then, when you finish exploring, return to the map to the screen. Okay. Hmm, okay. Seas investigation teams are now being set up around the world. Okay. Let's see what's happening. We're. Let's go and see. Can we. No, we, have... we can only place it in Brazil, I guess. Oh, that's weird. Oh snap, Brazil is the one. My infection base has been covered in Brazil. Oh snap, okay. Response, contact tracing. It works best when not many people are infected. You can reduce fatality right here. And you can reduce. Okay, hand washing. Okay, hand washing. Um. I think honestly we would do contact tracing. Just like right now like people in South Korea are doing at the moment. Uh, notify their contacts when it's established if it will only reduce infection in small outbreaks. We'll probably do that. Um, the emergency preparation, I think a lot of times it's already a little bit too late, honestly. Um, but yeah. Production is out of control in South America already. Oh, what's that? Okay, quarantine. Oh, there's a quarantine now. Okay, South America alert. Wow, this is even more uh, challenging than actually starting a disease, not gonna lie. To prevent it is like even more tougher, I would say. Let's see. Wow, there's already 3 million that really infected. Here's the infected and weekly change. Hey, this is really out of control. Okay, we really need to. Um, here's the non compliance that shows how many people are not doing what you tell them. 100%! Holy snap, dude. Okay. Country becomes fully non compliant, people will completely ignore lockdown and quarantine measures. That's basically what we're kind of like almost at the brink. I feel like we're kind of almost at that point, but we're not, we're sort of not there yet. Yeah, kind of, I mean, it's kind of hard to say. Okay, economic initiatives, furlough schemes, protect jobs by paying salaries of staff, disrupted by quarantine actions. Okay, that's understandable. Okay. Force lockdown, enforce mandatory isolation. Okay. Holy snap, okay, what else? Europe alert? Let's do Europe alert as well. Oh man, okay, not in this tutorial apparently, okay. Not in this, <laughs> okay, what else can I do then? Force lockdown, not even that? Are you for real? Okay. Man, this is crazy. Okay, we, we need to really do something about this. Like, I... Right now, I can't even control it. It's like, here's my authority. Okay, if you run out of authority, you will be shut down and lose the game. Oh my goodness. Um, okay. Wow, okay, I didn't realize it was that bad. Holy snap, wait. If currently, the highly infected area. Let's see. Oh my goodness, okay. Wow, this is a lot more stress. Oh no! Some of the countries are already rebelling. Oh my goodness. To win the game, you need to eradicate the disease. Let's develop a vaccine, okay? Okay, let's do a vaccine. Okay, let's do that. Uh, we gotta accelerate funds. I think that's gonna be more effective. Um, furlough. Yeah, a lot of times. In this real game, this would take a long time, so remember to start it early. Okay. Trying to quash 
Hold on, you've completed the tour. Let's, now it's time for the real thing. Okay, this is the real thing now, guys. This is the real thing. We're gonna, we're gonna try it now. So against the bacteria, we're gonna do normal because, um, let's say Omnicron, right now. Let's just say Omnicron is the one that we had to face. Um, C advisor port. Thing. Forensic. Oh, we had to pay. Oh, oh well. Okay. Well, I guess we had to use limited resources. Can you save the world? A new plague is spreading, undetected. You need to stop it. Take control. Lead the global response and protect humanity from the deadly pandemic. Pick a country to be your HQ. Uh, who would be more prepared? I want to say. I wonder who would be more prepared in this case. Uh, honestly, the US was not prepared. Oh, welcome Gustavo Lit. Uh, honestly, I think... Oh, man, like US was not even prepared at the time that went pandemic hit. Um, but I guess with the center disease control, it may be suitable. Dude, last time Canada actually beat us. Dude, Canada actually beat us on that one. So I feel like Canada will probably be like one of the most neutral zones that will allow us to actually win this game. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and select the Canada like we did for the tutorial in this case. So we'll go ahead and go for that. Uh, let's let's just go ahead and see what we're dealing with at the moment. So um, let's see, quarantine response operations. Um, okay, obvious spread. Da -da -da. Clients. Hi, Cassio. Uh, Marcus. I guess. Savior. Oh, I guess. I'm sorry if I'm sabotaging your name. <laughs> Forgive me for that. Um, we're trying to save the world right now, but fun investigate. Investigate outbreaks to search for local outbreaks. Okay. Um, might be how to do it. Okay, fun. Perfect. We did that. Now we need government partnerships. No, deploy fuel operators. Let's do that. Um, let's also do emergency care. I think that would be. I think we need to do government collaborations, and we'll probably have to use outbreak intelligence unit later. We'll probably go for emergency care in just a bit. So um, I don't know. I think that's where the infections are going actually. They're in the Middle East. So we're what else can we go for? Okay. Because like you see them Oh my goodness. It's starting from Russia apparently. This time. Out of everywhere else, it's freaking Russia. That's 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 interesting. Okay. So apparently Russia is the one that's infected. So I sent the operatives to the wrong area already. Holy snap, I should have waited. I just realized, oh my goodness, I think I should have waited that one, so let's just see what happens next. Okay, we're gonna try to take care of the response, we'll do hand washing, uh, we'll do, we'll try to use common sense right now, uh, we'll try to also do emergency preparation so that we don't flood the ICUs, try to do critical management probably. Uh, so that people can then sh the more knowledge you spread, uh, the more effective it is, I would say. Sort of. China, J hold on, man. Japan. Japan sets up a disease. That's the Asian team. Okay. Apparently, we see the, 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 the virus is kind of spreading all over the countries, like Japan and also a little bit of India. Oh no, it's spreading to US now. Okay, okay, we, we have to. We have to do something about this now. Okay, this is where response needs to be a lot more effective in this case. So we need to do contract tracing, understand where we're heading at. Uh, we need to do also border monitoring. We want to see like where the... Because right now the virus... Oh, wait, what's the game called? Oh, the game is called... I don't know, did I edit it properly? It's called Blank. Plague. That's what it's called. Just in case, yeah. Um, Middle East sets up weak contact. Holy snap, it's a weak one? Omicron vaccine ready to research. Alright, we got the research going. That's what we're talking about. 
Oh, no, no, no. It's all good. It's all good, Gustavo. It's all good. Yeah, I, I just want... You actually... It allowed me to, like, just see if I edited it. If I typed in the name right. Because I don't want to, like, mislead anyone in the process. So, that's a good, um... That's a good little break to see where we're at. So, appreciate you for pointing it out. You know? Okay, so Omicron vaccine ready to research. All right, let's do this. So, apparently it started from Russia. So, we have to hurry up with this one. Um, response, let's try to, like, do airport screening just make sure um, I want to also do testing as well just to see where we're at uh, we will recommend basic product, uh, protective equipment like mask probably do disinfectant wipes a little bit later self-isolation will probably be the key oh public awareness we need to public public awareness we need to aware yeah hey what's up let's eat her uh, this is the game called Plague uh, that we're trying to do. It's like a virtual simulation of the disease or the virus spreading. Oh my goodness, Omicron is actually spreading in a lot of countries now. Okay, well, we're gonna have to figure something out in this problem, in this case. Okay, we already... How many? I thought I already... Okay, where else? Oh, the spring infected somewhere around in Italy already. It was already infecting in Russia, but then why didn't I just like just put it in Russia as well? Okay, and I will. I think that's about it. Okay, we quickly need to identify now. So maybe port screen as well because that's how trade. When you're trading with other countries, sometimes like food gets contaminated and might also get passed on. So that's a possibility that we need to also take care of. Um, I think we need to do treatment efficiencies a little bit later. But first, let's do self-isolation, um, just in case, so that people people are now aware of the situation, and people are then uh, trying to take precautionary measures in the process. Does it have multiplayer? Um, I don't believe so. Not that I'm aware of, but we can later on check it out once we uh, finish the game or so. We can like just go back to the main function. Or is there... Oh, actually, I can save it quit. Okay, let me just save. So, play and... Um, there is unfortunately no multiplayer at the moment. There's only scenarios, custom scenarios, speedrun, and scenario creator. So it's most likely just like yourself playing the game. In this case, yeah, that would be interesting though if they actually did that. That that'll be quite intriguing. Um, we'll do. Let's see, respiratory support. <sighs> that's that's a little bit iffy. That's a little bit iffy on there. Staff expansion. Uh, let's see what else. Social distancing two meters away. Uh, that's a little bit tough. You know, it's a little bit tough to have social distancing. Not gonna lie, especially when I'm at work, it's hard to even do social distancing. Especially if you're trying to learn, like what your colleagues are doing. You're basically have to always keep it at. A, you can't even keep it at a distance. You have to always like come in contact at least like maybe two feet away so it's literally impossible to do a social distancing unless if you're working from home working from home you're fine but you're if you're not working from home you have to most of the time you're going to be keeping at least two feet apart and it's recommended that you do six feet apart but unfortunately a lot of times in those in the areas that we work in it doesn't work it's not like in theory it sounds good but in practicality it's not is is literally not feasible like from my perspective right now. But I mean it's best that we do something but yeah, whatever. Uh, we'll just go ahead and do testing. We'll try to test even more. Uh, land border probably. Um, and I think operation. Oh man we need to we need to do more on, on operation side. I think that's where we're lacking at the moment because if we don't have uh, operations been basically to fund us or try to figure out where to also place it. That could be a little bit more problematic. So we will go ahead and check out the mail keys. Sorry, I've already put in that. A few operators are free. That's good. Where else can I put? No, I can't. Okay. We need to actually. S no, Tokyo Olympics is back on. No, my goodness, dude. Really? You have to do it right now when we're actually trying to figure out the, the virus? Okay. Um, outbreak dedicated, rapidly set up. 
Let's do that. Uh, let's vaccinate. We need to vaccinate research. We need to do it now. Let's let's get that over with. Okay, right now we're good with authority wise. Now we're not. Uh, it's slowly, nope, it's starting to increase. All right, that's kind of giving me a little bit of a headache. Um, what are we doing? Uh, let's do. Where, where are they getting infected the most? I think Saudi Arabia. Okay, what in the world? Okay, okay, Saudi Arabia. I think it's. I already have it in targeted quarantine. All right. We'll go ahead and do uh, Asia everywhere. We gotta alert everywhere now. We gotta alert. Uh, I think. Uh, I think close air access uh, is gonna be uh, feasible because um, basically that's where infections are coming from. We have to close down the airports, ban all flights because all oh, you have to. Go. It's all good. It's all good. There's always a recording as well. Just a heads up, um, Gustavo. You can always check out my YouTube uh, channel. There's always going to be recordings. Um, just basically, whatever we're streaming right now is going to be recorded, uh, stream recorded to YouTube uh, itself. So you can, I'll go ahead and post that a little bit later. Maybe I want to say Saturday or so because I think I have some stories for you guys actually. I literally have some stories to tell you guys, but then I'm just so distracted right now with this game. And it's been bothering me for the past three nights, not gonna lie. Three days I have been thinking about this story. And it just burdens me to like even not say it, to not say it out. It's You know what? I think what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to balance this game while I tell you guys the story. How does that sound? Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh yeah, we're gonna have to like I'm gonna try to balance it out right now for you guys. In this case, so um oh it's not dude. So much going on. Oh it's not, okay. Um let's do here. Oh, we're locking down already. Actually, we're locking down most of the countries. Where are you infecting it? Holy cow, you're infecting like nationwide non compliance in Russia. Oh my goodness. Dude, why, why are they exacerbating the situation? Like, seriously, that's so dumb. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, let's see. We're gonna have to do respiratory support just to like cut us some time. Um, operations, we definitely need to do manufacturing of vaccine. We're gonna have to do accelerated research. We're gonna do accelerated research in just a minute. I'm just gonna go ahead and place our um, operated <laughs> if possible. Operations. We really need to get this funding going. We need to accelerate it. We only got nine percent. So basically, if our authority level is decreasing, we need to maintain the authority level. Otherwise, we lose this game. Oh my goodness, Egypt! Why? Why you have to do this to me? Really? Out of everywhere else, Egypt decides to not like give a crap now. So we're we're basically have to like literally to start producing it just to increase the vaccine level oh my goodness we, we need to do something about Russia in this case I think we need to do something about Russia we need to do something about freaking Egypt as well so um let's see we need to do that we need to do censorship communication to prevent public criticism yeah we're just gonna do that this is called authoritarian uh, necessary Necessary authoritarian level. Oh my goodness. First death. No. Already. Holy stuff. At least 4%. Okay. Oh man. Really? Okay. Oh, let's get that. 
let's get let's get the manufacturing going. Let's do fuel research too, as well. Let's also do the emergency care too. I think we also need to do we need expertise in this. Uh, we also need uh, what else do we need? I mean, there's so many things we need in this. It's like it's just so hard to like control everything at the same time. It's like. That's the frustration part about it. It's like more infections than HIV. Great. Okay, you gotta be kidding me now. Okay, come on. Oh my goodness. Okay. We need to get global manufacturing treaty. We'll we'll try to aim for that. We'll also try to gain global research. I think we need global research in this case. That will help us out I think, tremendously. Uh, we're losing losing authoritarian authority at the same time. Oh, I know that game. It's played. Yeah. That's good to know. That's good that you know. Kirby. Glad you know. Because uh, this game, honestly, this game hasn't really been played that much uh, or streamed. So I think, and I've been longing to play this game for quite some time. And I kind of thought about this, this situation um, like recently that just happened. So I honestly, I, I want, I want to like at least create some sort of awareness of the, the the virus, or also create some sort of oh my goodness, Omicron spread hurts authority. Okay, we really need to like actually emphasize this solely now. We need targeted economic aid, at least create some sort of economic incentives in the process. Um, let me see. Let's do India. Um. Oh my goodness. Let's just do lockdown in. Holy snap, dude! There's so many lockdowns we're gonna have to do. Okay. Authority close to collapse. Hope. Oh crap. Well, I think it's gonna be a home run GG in this case. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. This is why it's so tough to like handle like these type of situations, not gonna lie. In this case. Wow. This is like the most difficult <sighs> predicament that you're in. Like imagine being a world leader and then you have to like figure out how to handle this virus and then you found out that there's like more than three, four million people like being infected and then at least one million already died in the process. So what are you gonna do in this case? It's like you either one you increase the you try to increase the event, you try to increase the research and also you want to create like some sort of global research in the aspect so that a lot so that many countries can then research that one topic but then apparently like there you also have to deal with people that are non-compliant to it hence then leaving us to like this deadly spiral like the fatality rate the world graph of the population of it being healthy just like plummeting it down and then you have to deal with the lockdown which lockdown wasn't quite effective as well so apparently it killed 38 million 500 thousand people within 192 days now yeah. oh my goodness it's the tragedy behind it oh COVID-19 on behalf we have donated 250 thousand dollars oh snap dang okay yeah COVID-19 is not a game so we I guess we kind of got some awareness Okay, I think this is gonna be the hyped up. I'm gonna hype it up a bit. I'm gonna do a little bit of giveaway for our Omelet Arcade people in the process. Cause I think this is a story that I've been sort of waiting for. All right. <sighs> okay. Let me also record the, the timing as well, because I know that this is going to be quite useful in this case. Welcome to those that recently joined, by the way. So right now we're at 84 minutes. Okay. 84. 
Recently, or three nights ago, or three days ago, I have had some issues. Or basically, I've had some sort of like a weird bad feeling、uh, in the process. And what this weird feeling I had is the sense of guiltiness of not being able to. Tell the story ahead of time for those that may feel this certain aspect. And what this certain aspect I'm talking about is the thought of suicide. I personally, back in I want to say when I was younger,、uh, back in third grade when I was nine years old,、uh, in the very pinnacle point, I almost killed myself there. Third grade, nine years old, I would have ended my life at that time. And why did I say this, or why did I even bring this up? Is one mystery that I try to unravel in the process. And basically. What happens is this: When I was little, I didn't know how to communicate to other people. I didn't know how to use words, so I end up using actions. I would hit people. I would like kick. Like I remember the first kid I kicked, which made him fell. I literally didn't know how to communicate my feelings to other people, which made things worse, and that's why I got. Suspended in the process. I, well, I didn't get suspended, but I got in trouble to the point where, like, my parents were being called by my principals. So, what ended up happening is this: is that when I got my parents,、uh, when I got the principal to call、uh, my parents, that also lead to disciplinary actions. So, for me personally, I. Had this thought of suicide from that point forward. It was like because it was this selfish thought that I had, which was to end my life and hope for the best that no one would really, basically, no one would really care. No one really cares about me. So why not just like end my life? And just try to end the problem because if the problem starts with me, then of course I can just end my problem easily just by taking my life away. And I've gone to point. It was like from from preschool and then up to third grade. And then I remember one day I I got back home、uh, from school, and <laughs> what ended up happening was that I. I got into an argument. I got into an argument with my parents, and in the process, I thought I had it enough. So I decided to just go to the kitchen. I, as I walked to the kitchen, I kind of thought of this,、mm, this word seppuku, and this word seppuku is. Uh, it's a Japanese term for like when samurais would end their life.、Um, basically, if I know there's some kids out here, there are some kids out here as well that are watching, and I'm sorry you, you guys have to hear this because I feel like you guys also may have had the same thoughts as I did as well in the process, and basically. That idea process was to just like if I'm the problem, then why not as well just end it? Like why don't I just end it with myself? And I condone it though. I highly condone the thought of this, and I wish I never had that sort of thought. But unfortunately, I did. I went through that, and I got to the point where I I just went to the kitchen, like I said, and I saw like a, a kitchen blade knife. It was pretty sharp. It's like kind of like a short, sharp blade. And in my mind at that time, it's like what I can do is this: I can just like, just stab myself and then just, just bleed to death, you know, and just look as it is, like like you would see in like those、um, those Chinese dramas or perhaps、uh, 
those drama stories that you see, like, and that's what I literally thought. I literally thought of doing that. But when I raised up the knife, I just felt something was holding me back. It, it was literally holding me back. I couldn't do it. Like nine years old, I can't even do it. Like, why couldn't I? It's almost like the the story of Isaac uh, being sacrificed, of、uh, about to be sacrificed by Abraham. Basically, Abraham brings him up to the mountain because, um, because God was then there to then test,、uh, wanted to test Abraham's faith. So then Abraham goes up to the mountain, and as he's about to, he creates this altar, about to sacrifice Isaac. His son, his only son, he basically like just God just out of the blue just like basically says stop, like no, and basically he really proved his faith and his faith was to believe in the things that is unseen, and I seriously thought of that like it, it took me a while like I, I think like it took me more than ten years to just like reflect on that same situation that I had back in third grade, and I felt like it was that same situation that occurred and. Like I wanted to kill myself, and I couldn't. I just stopped. I, I, I just basically just froze right there and just pondered for a moment. It's like, why can't I even like continue on with this action? Seriously. And from that point forward, I, I somehow just decided to let go, and I. Place back the knife back into the place that I took it out of, and ended up just just running back upstairs to my room and just cried it out because I just don't know how in the world, like, why, like, what am I doing? It's like, how in the world, like, can I not complete this action, and at, yet at the same time, like, why am I being restrained to do so? Like, what is even my purpose? Yeah, so it was just that crazy that moment, that one crazy moment. And then there were so many times where I even thought of jumping off the building. I thought of jumping off the bridge. I thought of jumping off the highest building because a lot of times when I got to my lowest point, I just never thought of other people. I just. Said, screw the world. Let me just do my thing. If I'm the problem, then I'll end it. And I and I just didn't. Well, I I know that there's someone out there that that I guess didn't want me to. So yeah. But definitely. Now, these are some of the solutions, though. As well, if you guys are all feeling the similar like situation as I did, of course, like right now, you guys have the resources to do so. You have the internet. Basically, you can always search out for like suicide help, lifeline, and also to prayer. Prayer is also the best weapon, especially when the enemy is there to like say you can just end your life. It's so easy. The easiest. As it is written, basically the narrow path is the hardest path to walk through, or the narrow gate is the hardest path to walk through. Whereas the widest path is where everyone can easily go through, and it's so easy. But then it just leads to devastation. So, in aspects, definitely、uh, prayer, calling suicide helpline, finding friends. Friends are crucial. Friends that you trust, friends, friends that you are willing to, that both sides are willing to share their vulnerability. That is going to be the most crucial part of your life for the next ten, twenty, thirty plus years ahead. Because if you don't have that one, if you don't have a friend that you can share the vulnerability to, it's really tough to let go of the things that you thought that is your problem, and you are. And just being able to then comprehend, like you have a, your life is unique. You guys have a much more. You guys have a lot more years ahead of me that 
I know you guys can do. You guys can definitely, like, I'm not exaggerating this, but you guys can definitely improve the current situation that we are all in. Maybe some of you will then find out ways to cure the, the virus or some sort, or maybe even find ways to also help nurture the younger ones, the younger generations that are to come to become leaders that we need as of today. And the leaders as of today, they're older and they're sometimes out of they're out of whack. And this is hard to comprehend nowadays. Literally. And I just want to say that you guys are much more valuable than you guys think. A lot more valuable. And I'm not exaggerating this point. And you guys and for me personally, I learned so many hard through so many hard knocks that i just it just took me a while to like understand to cope the situation so i hope you guys like find some friends find some helpful friends that don't like of course that don't do drugs that don't do alcohol uh that are willing to take the time to open up and listen listen through so yeah definitely those are your key components and also prayer prayer is going to help out um i can never emphasize that enough it is, that's it has also brought me through and god has sent me so many friends in the process god has sent me people like you guys to come in <laughs> to chat i guess um in the process to also share so and i and i got to share the story because i don't want to die regretting not telling this to you all and also to whoever is out there willing to watch this as well so yeah this was something that was bothering me uh, for the past couple of days and i needed to and i feel like is the need to to say it out because just before our last breath and yeah i think you guys were more than sparrows i think there you go. And as it is written in this case, fear ye not, therefore ye are of more value than many sparrows. And I think, let me just quickly read this out. I, guess I think this is more valuable than, than I've actually, I've read, I've reread this numerous times and I think this has been quite helpful. Fear not, therefore you are all you are of more value than many sparrows. So everyone who acknowledges me before men, I also will acknowledge before my father who is in heaven. Wait, that's interesting. But whoever denies me before men, I will also deny him before my father in heaven. I think it was probably before that. Yes, it was before that. That was where I was trying to get at. Okay. Well, this one starts in Matthew 10, 28. Uh, basically, it says, And do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. And are not two sparrows sold for a penny? And not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. And then it goes to the last verse. And even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So there's, there's going to be a day where we're going to be accounting for the things that we did and I solely believe in that in particular so yep and yeah bro that is I want to go ahead and I finally I, I can finally like just read you guys this chat um pinkle underscore purple says omg I do not I do that when I was seven years old. Holy snap, you did that at seven years old? Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, that's even way younger than I was. I'm gonna lie, I mean, well, because you have more to live for sacrifices just for a big, big danger. I tried many times since seven to 13 and now I'm 14 and I still do it. Yeah, I know, it's, it's tough. It's definitely tough to like get the thought of, but also realizing that you also have a sense of self-worth in particular, that you're much more unique than other people could say. Other people can say you're trash, you're doing this and that, you're doing this wrong and so forth. You're 
much more valuable. You can do a whole lot more better things. You can, you may be able to like, you may have a specific skill or a craft that you have that you have been developing over the past years. You can also like build on top of that, which then you can then teach. And then once you teach, you can then learn more as in the process too. So definitely, you have and since you're fourteen, you have, you have. Even though like as the older people would probably say, like you have a long way to go. At the same time, you are much more. You have some more time to actually experience and also be able to then live that life to tell your story as well, so that it can to hopefully help someone out there that is willing to listen, in particular. Curdy one three three says, "Bro, that is me. Like two years ago, like almost ended me, but I felt the same thing. Like I'm thinking what I'm doing here and cry. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Woofy there. I honestly speaking, like when I think it was back in 2012. Like that's when SARS happened. I believe I was like in the flight to China, and then apparently there was like these people in like quarantine masks." Uh, or these like, like hazmat suits that came into our plane, and apparently they detected one of the passengers in the flight, like two rows in front of me, that actually had the, uh, the virus of some sort. So then, by the time we got out of the airport, dude, my head was sweating, like it was just overheating. I felt like I couldn't breathe, like a little bit of dizziness in the process, and I felt like, oh,、uh, if I actually got part of that. Caught part of it, then that would have been. I feel like I would have been dead by then, like when I was 12 years old. I think 12 years old. Was it 12 years old? I want to say it was 2012. So yeah. And then I thought, and then they had the movie called 2012. Apparently, basically, just like the whole world flipped upside down, and then the magnetic coordinates is like it's all whacked. So then basically, a huge flood came, and just like it almost like looked like a Noah's Ark type of situation. So. And just like wiped out everything in the process, and I thought it was gonna happen as well, <laughs> like literally, because Ch- apparently, like in that movie, it showed like China was building this great, huge boat, and everyone was trying to get to China to like,、uh, to like stay alive because like the population there was like kind of like minimal or some sort. So, yeah, and actually, the interesting part is this. Actually, my parents actually got the day after tomorrow. We watched it back in 2004 or some sort when I was a little kid, and that was actually the first movie. I think that was the first, very first movie I actually watched that almost like similar to 2012, like the movie 2012. That's how it was. It was like predicting the climate change, etc. Gosh, dang, that was so surreal at that time. Like I was, that was real crazy how it happened. And then it went to 2012, and then 2015, like the. Picture like Nostradamus, like the prediction, the French astrologers that mentioned about like reading after reading the stars, they he kind of predicted this long prophecy of some sort, and then I thought, holy snap, maybe 2015 we're gonna end as well too. So then I thought, like almost like each year, I thought I was just gonna die. It's like each year, it's like I'm just counting. Okay, 2013, I'm probably gonna die. 2014, I'm gonna die. 2015, I'm gonna die. 2016, I'm gonna die. 2017, and then 2019, COVID 2019. Covid nineteen happens. I was literally in my property management, and I was just like working. And all of a sudden, like in March twenty twenty, that's when it hit the fan. Like everyone, like our office occupancy rate went from ninety percent all the way down to like seventy percent. It be all because of that Covid nineteen. And basically, I had I had to deal with like these. Uh, I had to deal with the residents where they were grieving because they couldn't pay rent.、Uh, they were like some of them were bar rest bar owners. They lost. They end up like foreclosing their bars. Like one of the、um, one of the most devastating story that I've that I've heard was basically this resident. Call, she calls in because apparently her niece was working in Louisiana as a nurse, and apparently she was only thirty years old. And she died because of COVID. She died because of COVID, and at the age of 30 years old. And 30 years old is pretty young. 30 years old is pretty young. And I'm like, I. She was breaking down in tears. I was also almost to the point where I'm breaking down in tears as well because I couldn't believe at the age of 30 years old. I'm not even 30, but I'm still like. 
kind of wondering like when am I gonna die too? Like it's just like the positive paranoia of that, uh, that sense of reality just like hitting in. So yeah, and then later on like the Omni, the Der- Delta variant came, and then now the Omicron. So now we're all at the Omicron virus point. So we're like, holy snap! Like, okay, so what are we gonna do now? It's like, so yeah, that's basically where where it happened. And then Pinko Purple uh, said, I have been depressed and stressed for eight years now, and we all need a therapist or something. Now we all need ther- uh, someone to talk to so we don't end up dying alone. Definitely. I can't agree more with that. Um, the th- like, to be honest, like a friend, the best friend you have is already a therapist itself, to be honest. That's all. It's completely free. You don't have to pay excessive amount of money. Um, to do so like a, a friend that you do been with like a neighborhood friend that you totally care about that's that's gonna be like your therapist like even even though lucy from like charlie brown like was doing it for five cents still you can save even more than five cents on that one too in the process so you're better off with like a loyal friend uh loyal friend and just keep in mind like personally this is my personal belief and i think it's true because Miracles has always has always been happening to me, and I've been the key witness to it because I've seen that happen to my live streams as well. If you watch, if you go to my YouTube channel, there's some, there's like some of the times where it happened to me that day when I was so depressed to the point where I finally found the joy of actually just like finally found some sort of peace in the process. It, it just all of a sudden that day there was one time where actually it, I kind of mentioned the testimony before it was like maybe one month ago one or two months ago it's in one of my live stream videos uh, I don't know if I can find it but maybe you guys have like a keen eye for that too in the process so definitely yeah I think the one that I think I thank the lord that I'm still alive to this day and definitely uh, Jesus has been there for me and I think he's will be there for you guys too, because he's been there ever since we were young. The older we get, the more we see and learn and know. We all feel the same way because we experience a lot in life. I'm only saying this once. Uh, hello, uh, yeah, definitely. You made a good point, Pinko underscore purple. Oh, hello, uh, John John V underscore gaming. You have my royalty, but I appreciate it as well. Uh, I technically disrespect people that's toxic to me. I'm giving the pain they gave me back to them because some of us don't deserve this kind of life. Yeah, you know what is kind of interesting is that basically it's kind of like a reversal. Basically, like when when someone does something to us, like maybe a like bad experience, we end up tend to pass it on to someone else. And I am guilty of it. I'm totally guilty of it. Like basically when I miss. Like, honor your parents is one of the things that I tend to break and I feel guilty of that and I'm trying to change it as well in the process I'm like a work in progress and basically what is happening is that like sometimes I might even mistreat my parents like because of a bad day at work and that is a no-no because the parents are there to like they're already experienced enough doesn't mean that you should get them attitude in, in, in uh, some aspects because they they have more experience than us and they are able to then help us cope with it at times you know, sometimes parents are there that's why the parents are there for you and yeah but definitely I'm completely with you there pinko underscore purple yeah I'm training online and IRL just to stand up for myself and normal going down that's a good thing keep it up Keep up the good work, by the way. Keep up the good work. That's that's what definitely is gonna help bring us out of the the darkness that we're in. Like even if we're in the very bottomless pit, we can always still climb back up. We can always climb back up. So just keep that in mind. Some of us have future vision while we close our eyes where we sleep. Yeah, definitely. I sometimes have that happen to me multiple times. And it's crazy. Like, it's so, so daunting. I'm hoping for you to become a very famous streamer one day. You'll get your freedom. I appreciate it, Pinko underscore purple. Um, I too hope that one day I'll be able to stream this full time. Because right now I'm like working six days a week and I'm taking a night class. And that's been 
taking a, a toll on me at times. And I like streaming. Honestly, I literally like streaming. I found joy in it. Like, because I'm able to talk to you guys. Even though you guys are like virtual, I'm still able to then read your comments. And you guys have put some dedication to it in the process. Like, I can sense it. Like, just by even reading you guys' comments. I literally. Uh, okay. Let's see. Okay, there's a lot of these tokens. So I, I also think that there's also the case stuff like the tokens and so forth. I want to say that the reason I do this is because I want to tell the story so that you guys can also join. Because I think a lot of people are, when people are, this is how it happens apparently. Omelette Arcade is this. You, you do a token giveaway, people start flocking in because they want to participate in it. And honestly, you guys all already did. You guys, there's like so many of you guys that actually did. The one time at least 190 followers that happened to be. So, and I have the joy to also tell you guys the story while doing giveaway. So, you guys also enjoy the benefit of it. So, I'm, I'm glad that you guys do so. Um, Samurai, I sacrificed my happiness and all to make everybody happy for their life. Hey! That's... That is what I would call someone who's willing to sacrifice their life for another or laying their life for another person. That is one of the most virtuous, like one of the things that I, or the traits that I highly respect the most. That is what I will highly respect the most. And I definitely, you have my respects, Pinkle underscore Purple, for doing so. Because putting yourself over others, like putting others over yourself, in some aspects basically just valuing their importance is basically the idea of servanthood and that can actually lead to a whole lot more opportunities out there for everyone uh, for those that actually learn the servanthood trait because then you're able to see the joy and happiness behind it like even though we may not see it right now but later on that is gonna you're just gonna later on find out that you actually helped someone that day. It's it's crazy. I I kind of experienced it myself a couple of times, and I'm kind of surprised. I like sometimes it's just so unexpected. It just like happens at like an unexpected time. So yeah, definitely. Guys are always watching. Definitely, Mikey Gaming three thirteen. Exactly. Let's see. Wow. I'm glad that you guys have like this like good uh, like kind of back-to-back -back conversation because like it's actually something that that a lot of the the streams that I've seen won't really do honestly speaking so definitely it's, it's something that I wish there would be a lot more of it's more of like kind of like a conversation bit, uh, base so yeah Curdy one three three. I'm gonna watch your streams now. Like what the storytelling that you do is not just story. You make people happy. I respect you one hundred thousand times. Thank you. I appreciate it, Curdy one three three. I sincerely appreciate it. It's just like I will strive to do a lot more better job in, in what I can do. Um, not only. Because I always love to tell stories, and I think it just depends on the people who are willing to listen. That that gives me the greatest joy of knowing that at least someone out there is at least listening to it. Because I definitely my goal is to at least have my story spread out so that others can actually just listen to it, or at least you know, how should I put it? Like at least experience what I felt that hopefully will help them. That's what I, I think that's where my aim is at, is like, because uh, within these games itself, and also to also share the joy that I have, too. So I hope you guys were also, um, I hope you guys, or you all, are enjoying it as well, as much as I do, and also, um, found the found this story to be helpful in some ways and i'm i'm glad that you guys are also sharing it as well so i appreciate you all for for sharing it too in the process so that's makes it even more so so because it's like a heart-to-heart -heart type of situation 
so yeah that was my story um i'm hoping there's like i'm thinking there's there's a whole bunch of other stories that i think i have out there i just like i actually like we'll probably try to do at least one story per stream of some sort hopefully if that's the case um maybe <laughs> like some of the stories might not be like um might not be relevant um and sometimes it will be so it's it's kind of like a hit or miss um at times and i just i just want to like do my best to like hopefully improve my storytelling in the process for you guys to also enjoy the stories and or us really take some of the gold nuggets out of it as well so yeah Oh my goodness, Rashim them. Um, right, what was our abilities? Okay, we need to at least evolve this for sure. I just... Okay, definitely need to... Oh, it spreads to Southeast Asia. Oh, snap. We need to do something about that. Okay. Oh, snap. That was, um... That was actually one heck of a story. Not gonna lie. Um, and yeah, then for those that were watching, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please leave a like and also um, subscribe to my channel as well. I also, I'm trying to also diversify the channels as well. Um, for one, for learning English, uh, for those that are willing, that want to take some time to understand the pronunciation of the language english um then definitely uh, i have a channel for that i'm hoping to like get that started again uh once i get back to a five days of work five days of work week um schedule and also not only that i hoping to do also and of course uh so yeah definitely uh subscribe uh, in my YouTube channel, if you want to see more of this content and get notified, it's free. And also, I'm also on Twitch as well. You can also follow me there too. So yeah, uh, nevertheless, peace out. But not yet, not yet, not yet. I'm not done yet. So we'll just go ahead and try to finish up this game, and then I'll go ahead and end the stream from there. So yeah. Oh man. It's been the. Uh, oh my goodness, okay, we already exceeded. Okay. We're gonna do abilities. Now that we kind of learned our lesson, we're gonna do 26 in this case. And then we're gonna go ahead and speed things up to see if things are a little bit more interesting. Well, menu? Oh, okay, and let's see. Curious at 0%. Um, I think what I want to see was like how many people are infected. I think 50 million is already infected. 50.2. So we'll go ahead and... Holy snap, more infections now? Okay. Now we just need to increase the uh, genetic hardening. I'm gonna try to do that. I had the game. Oh, nice. That's good, Bastilo. I'm got... Dude, I bet you beat the game for sure. I'm betting you beat the game. I I felt like I did at one point, but uh, maybe it was on easy mode. So <laughs> uh, this one is on normal mode at the moment. So just the heads up. Oh my goodness, China is really starting a cure. Wait, I need to hurry up on this one. Okay. So abilities, I'm gonna do genetic hardening, and then I'm gonna proceed on to drug resistance, so that I can then slow the research and then increase the symptoms in the process. Um, man, I tried both side, both modes, and man, the the cure mode was a lot more tougher actually, because you have to like maintain authority. Uh, if you don't maintain authority, you basically lose the game. And a lot of times, like a lot of the countries weren't compliant, so that's why it made it even more harder. Just like right now, a lot of the countries nowadays, especially if you like go to, like Venezuela is basically at the brink of almost collapsing. I would say because right now their inflation is really high. And people who used to have high paying jobs and now drop down to the lowest point where they have to become entrepreneurs from themselves. So, and also they're limited in food and food and also other like car parts, etc. You know, for transportation wise and so forth. So, yeah. 
Tokyo infected. Okay, now the whole China China is already infected. No deaths yet. Um, which I'm gonna start increasing the issue in the. Uh, I'm gonna create sweating, and then we're gonna head and head to fever. New dry winds. Shows that strong dry winds are sweeping through. Oh, that's actually gives me another thought. Maybe I can utilize the winds for my advantage, or the virus advantage in this case. So let me see. Abilities, transmission. I want. Oh, it's eleven DNA. Okay. Almost one more. Oh, paranoia already mutated in. Okay. Um. Okay. Perfect. So since we already have the dry hard winds, we're just gonna try to push it a little bit more further. Oh man, that skin is actually doing a research. That's kind of not gonna lie. That's like something that it's gonna. Oh my goodness, place and watch list. Yeah, bro, I'm gonna go now. Clean my room. <laughs> Love your stream. Keep it up. I appreciate it, Curdy. Curdy one three three. Appreciate ya. For a while, taking time to watch it as well, and I'm glad that, and I'm hope, and I'm glad that you enjoyed the, the story as well. So, appreciate you. Uh, see you. I'll look forward to seeing you on the next stream as well. And uh, welcome to those that join that are joining from YouTube as well. So appreciate you. Okay, Russia leading global cure effort. Oh, okay, that's something. That's actually something that I've never, I wouldn't, I never seen before. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, try to contaminate mm, genetic reshuffling. Yeah, I'm gonna invest in that. Bacteria shells. We're gonna also do that. Now we're gonna increase the symptoms. So we're gonna go ahead and do immune systems. Oh my goodness, skin lesions, dude. Skin lesions actually help out a lot. Oh, sis, array. Okay, first death in US. Holy snap, okay. Let's see. What else can we do in this case? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do skin lesions. That's gonna increase death. Holy snap, okay. So, now we're just. Whoa, we have to just infected the whole entire Russia. Holy snap, that's crazy. Like, this, this is actually. That's crazy. I have not seen that happen like this. So, right now we're trying to fight against the cure. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do amnia. Um, we're gonna do phenomia. Uh, we're gonna do. Well, we need to do bacteria resilience actually. That will help us harden the situation. Okay. Kill more than black deaths. Seventy-five million. Okay. Someone gained someone twenty-five percent, twenty-six percent. Holy snap! Okay, that's really fast. Um. Hi, Mr. Mime. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, you came. I think you kind of came at the right time, honestly. What's chat? Um. Sure. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do voice chat. I don't know, like, what we're gonna talk about though. So that's gonna be a quite of a mystery. Not gonna lie. So yeah, um, let me just see. Okay, I'll meet you at the Discord. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Alright, and let me just quickly unplug. Alright. Dude, I finally got the chance. Dude, that's actually... What... I made a lethal mistake already? Uh oh the brain? The brain hasn't been infected? Oh uh, Greenland. Greenland. Oh Greenland? Yeah, that's that's something that I need to work on. Dude, I wasn't I mean, it's the virus that's doing it though. I mean I, I didn't even like Oh, well, I mean, yeah, I'm not in the control. I'm not in control of this virus. Oh, 
Um, I start off in China actually, because I know that China is highly populated. Okay. And now it's getting part of Greenland. Now it's getting there. Oh man, the cure is heavily. Now the cure is actually. Yeah. Greenland already shut its borders, so. Uh. Well, we need then we need to then um, increase the air too, I think, and then we can then infect the. It's not air right? Uh, no, not that I'm aware of. I guess maybe I need to like. Oh my goodness! Let's see. Yeah, through water. You're right, exactly. I'm gonna go ahead and infect water now. So now they're kind of. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh well. It was, it was a good attempt. It was a good attempt, I gotta admit. Because uh, this is like... Well, I mean, right now it's... Oh, snap. It's actually spreading a lot more faster than I thought. Um, maybe now I can actually do brain hemorrhage? Hemorrhific? I don't know. It's possible. And Oh my goodness, I should have done birds or like insects. That would have helped me out. Or weather condition too. Oh, seizures symptom mutated. I don't know. That's something even more deadlier. Okay, let me see. Abscesses, pockets, breeding ground, increasing infections rate when burst. Okay. Egypt in anarchy now. Okay. Oh, it's not. Seventy-five percent complete. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, actually, I know. Uh, sneezing won't do. Tumors. Oh, okay. Internal? Oh, bleeding. Bleeding and death. Okay, that might help. Um, then, there's no healthy people left in the world. Oh, snap. Okay. Yeah, I need to like somehow manage to. Now I just need to figure out. So now I have to like increase. I need to do the water actually. Water is more essential. Is there... So. Symptoms. Um. Insanity. Uh, you have to increase the Lethality. So that will probably be high supers. No. Total organ failure. Total organ. Oh, total organ failure. Okay. Oh, so that's like pulmonary fibrosis, right? Lungs. The one in the middle. The heart. The heart. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This one. Yeah. Pulmonary fibrosis. Sounds good. Oh snap. Oh snap. Dude, all of them are most India's government is gonna fall. Oh yeah, he, they actually fell. <laughs> oh wait, this, the cure is stopped. So, wait, so then there's no healthy people left. Omnicron to destroy. Omnicron to destroy humanity. Omnicron has destroyed the world despite the world's best effort. The last few humans know they are watching the end of history. Oh my goodness. It actually, I don't know. It, for some reason, it. Uh, well, I'm, I'm not trying to like. Man, it's so hard to say. It's like, I'm not trying to celebrate that the virus defeated the whole entire humanity. At the same time, it's like, oh, you know, I kind of wrecked everyone with Omnicron already. So, in the game, um, okay, no comment. <laughs> oh man, yeah, bro, I almost forgot what is your Twitch name. Oh yeah, um, Twitch name is Samur One Two Three. I wanna go ahead and type that out. Yeah, so Samur One Two Three. Wow, dude, this is actually the first victory out of every out of the whole entire stream. It's like the first victory in this case. Wow, that's crazy. Oh man.
Dude, the, the Z's graph, like, went from zero and the skyrocketed up to 710 all of a sudden. Like, and then the world graph, uh, it's kind of like, holy snap, it went like 710 or something. I don't know. I'm not sure how I'm going to read the graph, but the Kiro graph, though, it, it stops. You know, like, when we were, like, talking about how, like, it's not, uh, it's probably not going to be possible for the disease to actually win. <laughs> it was, like, because of Iceland, and Iceland was not infected too well. So, but then it was just, like, what the heck just happened? It was basically, like, Iceland just, like, got, <laughs> got wrecked. Like within like a matter of seconds, and then like you saw like the cure, you saw the cure. It went from like seventy six to seventy seven, and then it just stopped. It just to- halted the process of curing, and basically there was no one left to infect, and it's just, just like a whole bunch of death. That's basically what it was. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was because when you suggested, <laughs> it was when you suggested the or- total organ failure. That's when it actually happened. I think it would have what went the other way though. If I use if I decided to invest it in in insects or some sort, that wouldn't really do much. And like the water treatment, it wouldn't would do that much too as well. Maybe in the beginning, it will probably do so. In the beginning, it'll probably do. Yeah, but like later on, we're talking about late game. Then that's a whole different ball game. So you're you're definitely right on when it came to the organ failure. So yeah. So credits goes to Mr. Mind for actually causing the whole entire population to die off in Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we're just joking around. We're just joking around, everyone. <laughs> Please don't take it the hard way, okay? So this is just a game. It's just a game. Oh, oh gosh. I think I kind of. Well, I'm gonna have to edit that. Um, <laughs> oh well, that was um, yeah, that was basically the game itself. Um, oh well, uh, yeah, that was one heck of a game. Not gonna lie. Um, I think I am gonna go ahead and end the stream because I don't want to die by sleep deprivation as well. So. <laughs> um, Definitely, it was a pleasure uh, telling you all the stories as well. I'm definitely gonna hopefully upload this um, sometime this Saturday or so. And nevertheless, I wish you all safe, um, safe travels in your workplace, uh, whether it be school as well. And wishing you all a good health in the year of the tiger. Uh, basically. Happy belated Chinese New Year slash Lunar New Year. <laughs> um, and yeah. Hi Pinkle Perkle. I'm so sorry, dude. I literally I'm just like dying of sleep now. So <laughs> that was sleep deprivation. So we'll definitely try to stream um sometime next week if possible. Next month no not next Monday. Uh let's try we will we'll do next Friday because I'm taking a booster shot tomorrow. So I don't know how badly it will affect me um, in this case. So we'll just have to see how it goes. Um, so yeah, um, nevertheless, we'll try to do Friday. Maybe we'll do WoWsB or we may do some other games. That's why I put the word random on my in-depth tutorials because anything can happen. It's just going to be like either like some random game that you probably weren't, weren't expecting, like Minecraft or some sort, or maybe even like Plague, like just today. Today we were just playing Plague and all of a sudden you guys were like, what the fudge? It's like, how, like you were playing WoWsB like last week and then now you're just doing this. It's like, what in the world is going on? So definitely that's why I put random in the beginning. Uh, of my in-depth tutorial so i did the in-depth tutorial like in the very beginning and then now and then we kind of progressed through stories and then we're kind of to the point where we actually won the game because of organ failures but um nevertheless thank you all for watching it was a privilege uh telling you all the stories and for y'all to be there um to listen and I hope you all enjoy it as well. So definitely feel free to subscribe and also check out my friend's uh, YouTube channel, uh, Mr. Mime two three eight seven as well. He does a lot of the good uh, WoWsB content or World Warship Blitz content. If you're ever interested in that, yeah. And uh, another video in progress. Another video in progress. Holy snap! So basically, I'm gonna hype this up right now. <laughs> basically, if you guys haven't like. If you haven't checked out his uh, recent like montages, 
Dude, it's epic. Not gonna lie. Like, basically, it was funny and it's direct to the point. So, you're gonna learn a lot of good、um, tactics in the process. So, definitely、um, stay tuned for the upcoming video that he's gonna be posting soon. And,、um, and also, want to give a shout- huge shout out to、uh, a lot of the people that supported me on my、um, speaking English for subscribing to my channel, subscribing.、Um, Speaking English with Samurai 12.、Uh, that was,、um, we had a whole bunch of people. We had VC, we had Mr. Mime2387, we also had DDB. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to read it from Discord.、Uh, give me one moment. <laughs> it's like a, it was a long name. It was, it was like a long like, letter name.、Um, sorry for sabotaging it though.、Uh, let me see. I'm trying to scroll down. DBD. EDW. Okay, there you go. We got Spitfire 80 Cotis. We also got Philippa.、Uh, on, I meant uh, uh, Pips Wow.、Um, Pipa Wows. JJT15. And we also have Mikhail Katusov. So、um, definitely、uh, check those out as well. And we also probably have FTF1275、uh, as a way of saying thanks. We also have Butterbear,、uh, Sir Butterbear, who is an admin in my、uh, server. And we also have,、uh, let me also just check out、um, some of the ones that I think in the polls it was like kind of limited. But there's still many more people that subscribe that help、um, my channel grow. Because I wanted to, at first, I was struggling to get, because apparently, like with Omni Arcade app, I was, at first, I was able to stream it through my. Uh, new phone, I want to say? Or、uh, on my old phone, actually. In my old phone, I was able to stream my English lesson. But all of a sudden, when I changed it to my new phone, it wouldn't allow me to because I had to, subs- I had to get to 50 subscribers for that account. So I, I tried uninstalling and reinstalling again, just t e s t it out to see if it's the same situation, but unfortunately it was. So I ended up、um, trying it on my, other, my old phone again, and apparently that works. So, I appreciate y'all for taking the time to do so. We'll hopefully upload、um, some videos for that、uh, when I get back to teaching on Saturdays in particular. And yeah, because、um, after、um, probably like during the summer, I'll start re teaching uh, English uh, to my ESL students or English second language students.、Uh, mainly, like, I wanted to help them. Build up the virtual vocabulary、uh, word bank so that they can use other words. So instead of using like the word big every single time, you can use huge, ex-、uh, ex- gigantic,、um, enormous. You can use a whole bunch of,、uh, you can use numerous vocabulary words to replace that one simple word itself. So that's why I'm doing my best to like get up to date to there and. Also, try to balance out with telling you all stories and trying to play other t y p e of games in the process. So, yeah, definitely.、Uh, nevertheless, appreciate you all for watching.、Uh, peace out from s e m b e r 12, and God bless each and every one of you, and wishing you all good health.